A new national report card shows a historic decline in children's learning. It is the first time that we're seeing test scores that reveal how the COVID-19 pandemic caused learning loss. Our investigative reporter Brooks Jarose has been digging into the data and the search for solutions. Brooks. Well, Heather, it's no surprise children are behind, but these results better explain the setbacks teachers face as they help students catch up. For example, data shows one in 10 eighth graders fail to understand basic math concepts. All states saw learning decline or remain stagnant through math and reading scores. Still, there are signs California is doing better than most. The results are in. Across the country, math test scores for fourth and eighth graders dramatically fell. The nation's report card gives a glimpse into learning loss caused by the pandemic. Ten points is considered a year of progress. This year, down eight points, a historic low. Reading scores dropped too, but not in California, where they stayed fairly steady. Overall, California performed better than most states, but students still need to get up to speed. Stressed out kids really have a hard time learning and they're going to have a hard time catching up if they are in this continual stress cycle. School psychologist Rebecca Brandsetter says the answer is investments in mental health support for students and teachers and focusing on social emotional needs rather than just accelerating learning. Rigor without relationship is just pressure and so if we put pressure on the teachers and pressure on the kids that's not really the solution. So I would say the first tier of intervention is making sure that our students feel safe, they feel seen, they feel heard, they feel like they belong, they feel like they have a resource to go to if they're feeling stressed out. Test scores also highlight the widening socioeconomic and racial disparities and how virtual learning may have negatively affected those with learning challenges. The opportunity gap has expanded. The California Teachers Association says these results confirm what educators have been saying for more than two years. We must double down on closing opportunity gaps and meeting our students' needs and the unique needs of their communities. California has also released its own data that shows a recovery may be happening now. Comparing assessments from 2021 to 2022, they're steeper than normal achievement gains, a positive sign. Our kids have been through a lot, and the fact that they are coming back to school and they are making progress is really what we want to focus in on, not their deficits. We want to focus in on what is strong with our kids, not just what is wrong with our kids. It's important to note that statewide scores for English language arts and math are still far below pre-pandemic scores. There's no denying COVID has set back progress in California and it will take additional resources and most likely several years to recover and get kids back on track. In the newsroom, Brooks DeRose, KTVU Fox 2 News.